Arrow International is pleased to offer the first arterial catheter system designed with an integral spring wire guide and needle protection. Important features of this product include an improved protective guard, a 20 gauge 1 and 3 quarter inch polyurethane catheter, a special safety mechanism designed to capture the needle tip, and an integral spring wire guide. Inside the red safety cap, a spring-loaded device is activated when the tip of the needle is pulled past the catheter hub. As the needle tip slips below the opening in the safety device, the tension on the spring is released and the mechanism is activated. Once the safety mechanism becomes engaged, a second safety mechanism is engaged and the catheter hub can be released from the red cap. Until the needle passes through the catheter hub and into the safety device, the red cap cannot be disconnected from the catheter hub. The first step is to locate the arrow radial artery catheter with needle protection. The label is red to distinguish it from the traditional radial artery catheter that many clinicians are familiar with. Next, perform an Allen test to check for collateral circulation. After stopping the flow through both the radial and ulnar arteries, releasing the pressure on the ulnar artery should result in the hand becoming pink. Consider using another insertion site if there is inadequate collateral circulation. Next, prepare and drape the chosen site. The new CDC guidelines for the prevention of intravascular catheter-related infections recommends the use of a 2% chlorhexidine prep. This demonstration shows the use of the chloroprep one-step FREP applicator. This product contains chlorhexidine gluconate 2% and isopropyl alcohol 70%. This combination allows for quick disinfection with only 30 seconds of scrubbing and quick drying of the solution, a matter of seconds rather than the several minutes needed for complete drying of povidone iodine. Use local anesthetic as desired. Some clinicians perform a skin nick or dermatotomy. This is especially useful when the patient has tough skin. First, because it prevents a possible skin plug from blocking blood return through the needle. And second, because the tip of the catheter can be damaged if it encounters tough skin. Remove the protective guard. Advance and retract the spring wire guide to ensure proper function. Remember to begin the insertion with the wire fully retracted. If the wire is not fully retracted, it will act as an obturator in the needle and blood return will be hindered. Slowly puncture the vessel. Look for flashback in the flash chamber just behind the needle protection cap. Stabilize the needle position and advance the spring wire guide. When the handle reaches the black mark on the feed tube, the tip of the wire has reached the needle bevel. If you meet resistance at this time, the wire can be safely retracted and better positioning can be attempted. After advancing the wire and encountering no resistance, advance the entire unit one to two millimeters to ensure the catheter tip has entered the vessel. It is possible to see a blood return without the catheter being fully in the vessel because the needle bevel may be in the vessel and the catheter tip, which is located just behind the needle bevel, may not have fully entered the vessel lumen. While holding the introducer needle hub, the clear hub that covers the red safety hub, advance the catheter over the spring wire guide. As the catheter advances, the red needle protection cap will follow and will remain locked onto the catheter hub until the needle enters the protection device. Secure the catheter hub and continue to pull the needle hub. The needle tip will be locked into the protective assembly when the needle is pulled out of the catheter hub. As soon as the needle is protected, the red cap can be separated from the catheter hub. A small amount of resistance can be felt as the safety device separates from the catheter hub. Therefore, you should adjust your grip on the catheter to prevent the catheter from pulling out of the insertion site. Verify the arterial placement 
by observing the pulsatile blood flow, or in cases of low flow, verified by the monitored waveform. If there is no flow from the catheter, you will need a wire to reestablish vascular access. This product is designed so the integral guide wire can be removed from the needle and feed tube by pulling up on the wire handle. Withdraw the wire gently to avoid blood splatter. Examine the wire for any damage after pulling back through the needle. If the wire is frayed, a new wire or new device must be used. Attach the components you will be using, such as the stopcock, injection cap, or pressure tubing. Secure the catheter to the patient. This program shows the use of a catheter securement device made by Venetech International. The use of this or other safety devices further reduces the risk of needle stick injury by eliminating the use of sutures. Dress the insertion site according to your hospital's protocol and finally dispose of all sharps in accordance with OSHA regulations. The dressing shown in this program is Tegaderm HP from 3M Corporation. See the CDC guidelines for commentary on the use of transparent dressings or visit the manufacturer's website www.3m.com slash healthcare. The Sharps Away 2 operates much like a Chinese finger trap. After a needle is inserted, it is possible, although quite difficult, to remove it. Of course, one should never attempt to remove a sharp object from a safety device. If a needle is inserted and removed, the needle will be damaged and not usable. The Chloroprep One-Step FREP, included in the Arterial Safety Kit, meets the CDC 1A recommendation for proper skin disinfection. For technical information, please visit the manufacturer's website at www.chloroprep.com. On August 9, 2002, the CDC published Guidelines for the Prevention of Intravascular Catheter-Related Infections. The full text is available on the CDC website. See the CDC Guidelines for commentary on the advantages of catheter securement devices over sutures, or visit the manufacturer's website, www.statlock.com.